The Learning and Technology with Frank Studio now has a MetaQuest 3. And if you've seen any of the changes that have happened in the past few years when it comes to virtual reality and augmented reality in education and training, or if you've seen some of the other videos here on the channel where I talk about that, maybe you've been experimenting with virtual reality in your own classrooms, then you'll be excited to know that the MetaQuest 3 has really changed the game once again and, and for the better. So a couple of things, I'm not going to go through all the tech specs of the MetaQuest 3. I'm going to talk about those things that are really useful for learning and teaching. First of all, the MetaQuest 3 has a camera array on the front, and this makes a huge difference because what I'm able to do is have an augmented reality world where I can see what's around me and also have overlays of virtual objects. I can go fully immersive into the virtual world, but I can change between the two. I can go virtual, I can use augmented, and that really unlocks a lot more possibilities, especially around education and training. The other thing that the MetaQuest 3 has that's very useful is much better optics. Now, if we take a virtual headset and we want really good optics, our only solution in the past was to connect up a headset to a fairly expensive computer. This is an all-in-one unit where just the unit itself will allow me to go into that virtual or that augmented world. I'm going to put it on and if you check out, so this video is being filmed both as a regular video as well as a 360 video. So in the regular video, I'll show you exactly what's happening inside the headset. And in the 360 video, you're going to see it appear behind me on my NearHub S55 board. So I have a board here running an Android operating system uh, by NearHub that's going to allow me to cast what's happening there. So when I put on the headset, you're going to see that there's a lot of different valuable applications that are now available to me in virtual and augmented. I'm not going to go through a whole bunch of app, uh, different applications in this video. I just want to demonstrate the possibilities here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is when I boot up the headset, I'm seeing just the boot up uh, options of the headset. So I'm immediately going to go in and I'm go just going to set it up so that you can see what I'm seeing by casting this. So I'll just go in here, I'll grab the board. So you, you should see it appear on the board now in a second. So now you can see everything in my studio. So if I look around the studio, I'm glad I vacuumed the floors, I guess, you can see that I've got my computers, you can see I've got my record player, I've got the Count and Oscar the Grouch. But what's interesting here is not so much that I'm showing my studio, this could be the classroom, or this could be a server room if you're teaching more advanced topics like how to use routers and such. So you can actually interact with the environment. Now, I am using a camera system here, so I am actually not looking through the device. I'm looking through a camera on the outside of the device, and there is a little bit of, you know, in terms of the quality, I, it's not complete fidelity to the real world, but it's pretty good and it's certainly functional. It's certainly going to prevent me from bumping into things, and I'm going to be able to have overlays here. Now, you can see the camera. Now, you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. So I can go in and do that. Now, I'm just going to show you just as an example of the power of the unit. I'm going to go into this app and there's many more educational apps. This is a, a game called Nano, which can help you learn about biology. This is of course YouTube VR, so you can get 360 videos. This video is being filmed in 360 as you can see the camera up here. Uh, it's being filmed in 360 as well as being filmed uh, as a regular video. Tailspin is an interesting application for education. It allows me to develop professional skills. Let's just pop into Ecosphere here and I'll just confirm a boundary around me. So make sure I don't bump into anything when I'm fully immersed in the VR world. And you can see here that I'm able to take students on a journey into a place that would be very impossible for me to do in a regular classroom environment. I don't know what the budgets are for your school and for uh, your field trips, but personally, I do not have the budget to take my students all across the planet and especially to cool places like Borneo. So if I go in here and I'll just go through, you can see that I have Borneo here. These are jungles in Malaysia and I can go in and this would be a great opportunity for students to see things like jungles, see it from the air, see primates, uh, orangutans, you know, you can see all the different animals and such and I can scroll around. Now with some of these things like these immersive environments, you do need to download them. 
one of the th so I'm, I'm not going to download it in this particular video and I'll make some other videos in the future where I talk about some specific applications that are useful for specific educational outcomes. What I wanted to show you here though was here's a new headset, the MetaQuest 3, which has really increased my ability. I'll just tap the side a couple times. So if I tap the side two times, it brings me back to the augmented world. So you can see that I'm in this augmented world. And it really creates an environment where I'm going to be able to create experiences for my classroom, create experiences for my students that I think will help them understand the world a little bit better and understand concepts that might be harder to understand if I wasn't able to take them on that journey. So the MetaQuest 3 has arrived here at the studio. Stay tuned for some more exciting videos on some specific applications. You can check out some of my earlier videos where I talk a little bit about using virtual reality in education. So I'll post them somewhere here. And if you want more videos like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Comment down below on how you think you might be using virtual reality and now augmented reality through a standalone headset like the MetaQuest 3 in your own educational and training environments. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video or in the world of the Metasphere if you happen to be there. Take care and we'll see you soon.